Welcome to the Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man on the street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to the reasonswesmile.com or iTunes keyword Dr. Kavitko or the reasons we smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. It's going to be a great show. Today is episode number 458, and what we're going to talk about today is, and and in fact, it kind of has a couple different names. One is the Dental Diagnosis Pain Diagnosis show. The other is 25 things you should be prepared to tell your dentist when you have dental, head, or neck pain. All right? And this is probably going to be a part one of either a a two or a three part series because there is so much to to go over. But um, anyway, hey, before we get started, if you would like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you would please go to my office Facebook page and like us, it's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for that. And all past episodes, complete with video, are available at thereasonswesmile.com. So, in fact, if you want to watch any of the old shows, you go to thereasonswesmile.com. And besides seeing my head bounce up and down and stuff, uh, you're going to see photographs, (laughs) slideshow photographs that have to do with our topic. And uh, today's topic is dental, oral, and facial pain. All right. So, the first thing we want to do is talk about... Oh, and remember... Oh, by the way, I'm going to mention this early so you can have your phones ready because you may or may not know, if you're just joining us, this is your first time listening. Every week, we do a Dr. Kovitko's question of the day. And we do it in about 10 minutes. And we have an awesome prize today, so you're going to be able to win two free tickets to the Wild Zipline Safari Tour in Cumberland, Ohio. These are worth $168 for the pair. That's pretty cool, huh? And so in about 10 minutes, maybe nine and a half now, because I've been talking, uh, <laughs> I'll give you the, the nod and you can uh, try to win those, those tickets, okay? Okay, so here's what I want to... I want to start off by um, mentioning what it is that you need to t- tell. Be prepared to tell me or tell your dentist when you're having discomfort, okay? So some of the questions that I might ask or your dentist might ask would be, first of all, where does the pain seem to be coming from? Now, that may sound like an obvious um, uh, question and an easy one to answer, but it's not because it's very confusing. When you're in the back especially, the very back lower tooth could make you think it was coming from the upper left back upper tooth and vice versa. I will tell you that pain cannot cross your midline. So if you're having pain on your left side, it's somewhere on the left side. It could not be a right side tooth if you feel like your pain is on the left, but it could be any tooth on that side. You can have referred pain. So, where does the pain seem to be coming from? These are questions that I would ask you if you had called me or called my answering service or came in with, a, with soreness, and we would want to go over these. Um, now, we also want to know, when did it start? So, that's important because is it a chronic pain, meaning it's been going on for a while, or is it acute, which means it's uh, short, uh, short-lived but maybe intense, you know? Uh, that tells us different things. So, for example, chronic pain could be anywhere from a gum abscess to a tooth abscess to what we call acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. Try to say that three times fast. Um, even once fast is hard. <laughs> we call it ANUG for short because even we can't say it. And, it, and, and so I'm going to start to develop this idea of what you might be experiencing, what might be causing your discomfort. Another question I would ask is, what were you doing when it started? Were you sleeping? If you were sleeping, were you lying flat or sitting up in an easy chair? Were you walking, running, exercising? It's all important in helping us figure out what's going on. And the last thing that I want to do is misdiagnose pain. I don't want to assume you need a root canal when you don't. 
You know, I don't want to assume it's just your bite when it's uh, an abscess. So we have to get to the bottom of it. We have to do it quickly, and we have to be spot on. All right, and you play a big role in that by making sure you give us great information. Okay, something else. Uh, okay, so when I said, uh, and by the way, uh, when we're talking about um, what what were you doing, something else would be. Was there an event that precipitated the pain? Such as, did you bite into a piece of food? Uh, maybe, uh, did you absorb a blow uh, playing softball or accident or playing, you know, karate or or something? Uh, and sometimes people don't even realize they've absorbed a blow. I had a woman. She came in and she had pain in her upper right front tooth, and I looked at. I took an X-ray and there was an abscess up there. No cavity, no filling. The tooth had never had anything. It wasn't chipped. It was just a perfectly normal tooth, and yet it was abscessed. And I said, it looks like you must have like absorbed a blow at some point when you were younger or something. She goes, no. I go, are you sure? She goes, yeah, I'm sure. I said, well, something happened. And we went back and forth a little bit. Uh, obviously, I have to back off because I don't want to call them a liar, right? <laughs> but, um, but after, uh, so anyway, we, we told her what she needed, which in that case was a root canal. We did the treatment. She came back. When she came back for us to do the crown, which was going to be a different day in her case, she said, I remembered what it was. I figured out what it was. She says, I was lying in bed one night. My husband's arm fell asleep. He didn't know his arm had fallen asleep. He rolled over, and his arm kind of came around and clubbed me in the mouth. Kind of, It was like dead weight. And so there you go. That's what happened. So that's another thing. You need to try to think of, did you absorb a blow? What was happening at the time? Did you bite into something? That's a very important point because if you bite into something we might be looking at a cracked tooth we might be looking at just a traumatized tooth all right if it, it could actually be what you're eating it could be that you bit into something acidic and your problem is not an abscess at all it's not a broken tooth at all it could be what we call cervical abrasion which is where some of the uh, enamel and dentin has been carved away by improper toothbrushing and in some cases with your bite being bad and so that uh, liquid, uh, let's say it's the citrus liquid uh, of orange juice or something, gets on that spot and it hurts. All right, so that's very important. So, okay, let me just recap. We said, where does the pain seem to be coming from was the first one. When did it start? What were you doing when it started? For example, were you sleeping? Were you lying flat, sitting in an easy chair? Were you walking, running, or exercising? Was there an event that precipitated the pain, such as biting into food or absorbing a blow during physical activities such as karate or football? Okay, and uh, the next thing I want to know is what makes your pain worse? So, is it worse when you lie down? Is it worse when you exercise? Is it worse when you have hot food or drinks or cold food or drinks in your mouth? Those are all very important pieces of information. And so, um, I think the takeaway from this show, if there's uh, anything that I want you to, you know, like the this, this, this short answer or the skinny, is as soon as you develop this pain, this, uh, this uh, episode starts, start making a little journal. Write these things down as you notice them, because sometimes you're going to forget. If you don't write it down, you might forget. You know, you're not going to realize, you're not going to know the answer to a lot of these questions, and answering these questions properly is going to be very, very helpful. So what makes it worse? Another thing you might want to remember is what makes it better? I always ask people this. Is it better if you sit upright? Is it uh, better if you stay calm rather than running or exercising? Avoiding putting extreme temperature food or drink in your mouth, does that make it better? Um, does aspirin make it better? Does Tylenol make it better? Those are different drugs. Tylenol does not have an anti-inflammatory component to it. It does not treat inflammation. So if Tylenol doesn't work but aspirin does, well that tells me you have some inflammation, not just pain. Or your pain could be coming from inflammation. Okay? So um, those are important things as well. And, uh, you know, uh, inflammation could be gingivitis, it could be periodontitis, it could be pulpitis. And uh, everybody seems to think that they have an infection, that only infection can cause pain, or, but uh, that's not true. Or even swelling. Both inflammation and infection can cause swelling. All right. So keep that in mind and remember, the more information you give me when you come with soreness, the better job I can do for you. And so, and, 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 and again, no matter which dentist you go to, in fact, I have this kind of a thing I say, which is, if I listen to the patient long enough, 
my job is super easy because they just tell me what's wrong. I don't have to be that smart. I just keep asking questions and before you know it, it's like, oh, I know what it is. <laughs> now, I'm also using uh, visual. I'm looking at x-rays. And if you do uh, choose to watch this on either UStreamTV.com or TheReasonsWeSmile.com, you'll see photographs scrolling, uh, two sets of them that are going to show like the things that can cause pain. We have, uh, if you bump your tooth, you can get what's called subluc subluxation. Try to say that once fast, right? Anyway, <laughs> and uh, you can slightly dislodge a tooth. You can um, break the tooth up in the root. You can break the bone where the tooth is fine, but the bone is broken. All kinds of different things. And, of course, we have to rely on x-rays for those types of things. But a lot of this is just visual and with, um, and with listening. Okay, so let me look at my show clock. I think we are about time. It's about time for us to think about Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. That is right. And so remember what I said. The prize today is two free tickets to Wild Zipline Safari Tour in Cumberland, Ohio. The tickets together as a pair are worth $168. However, there is a catch. You have to use them before the end of this month. So make, if you can't use them and you can get them to a friend who can very quickly, that's still cool. It won't have your name on them. They'll just come in an envelope. It actually has my name on them. And you're free to go. You do, you do, they do recommend that you make reservations, though. And it looks awesome. And honestly, I would have used them myself if uh, my wife weren't recovering from foot surgery. <laughs> we would have gone. <laughs> We're going to have to go maybe next year. Okay, but as you know, before we do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's Question of the Day. All right. And uh, if you've been listening to the show, you know we are talking about, oh, you know, diagno helping me diagnose your dental pain or your oral pain or your facial pain. And so which of the following should you be prepared to tell me or your dentist when you are having pain in your mouth? Is it A, how long has it been hurting? B, did something happen to cause the pain? C, what makes the pain worse? D, is there anything that makes the pain better? Or E, all of the above. Hopefully the answer is obvious. We want you to win these, uh, these zipline tour passes. And so we want you to call 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769. So go ahead and call now. Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer, courtesy of Dr. Kavitko. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers, all in my office. And now we have two locations. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavitko & Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavitko for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavitko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko & Associates today, 614 262 
Hi, my name's Athena. My family and I have been patients of Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. We've gone to Dr. Kavitko for numerous reasons, especially cleanings, crowns, and root canals. Since going to Dr. Kavitko, I get compliments every day on how beautiful my smile is, and people always ask me how I get my teeth so white. I used to be afraid of the dentist, but Dr. Kavitko and his staff make you feel very comfortable and relaxed, and I'm not afraid anymore. I would recommend Dr. Kavitko for all your family's dental needs. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. All right, we're back. I'm Dr. Kvitko. We are doing Dr. Kvitko's question of the day. We have four callers on the line. We have Erica, Linda, Joanne, and Randall. And we're going to roll some dice. And it came up number four, which is Randall. Hey, Randall, are you there? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, first of all, what is the answer to Dr. Kvitko's question of the day? Uh, I would say all of the above. That's correct. Very good, very good. And are you able to use the Zipline Tour tickets? Yes. Perfect, perfect. All right, hey, Randall, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a, well, let's say a technician. technician. I work on lift trucks. Oh, you lift on lift trucks. See, that's no, 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 I work on lift trucks, forklifts. Oh, okay. So you, yeah. you, you fix them? Yes. My brother drove a forklift for 33 years at his job. He's retired now, but uh, somebody's got to fix those things. You never think about that, do you? I, I don't. You do. <laughs> well, I started out with automobiles and... Uh, uh, years ago, and now I'm uh, going with trucks, forklifts. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Well, hey, stay on the line because we need to get the information, and we'll mail you these uh, these tickets. They'll come probably tomorrow. I'm oh, sorry, I put them in the mail Monday. And Erica, Linda, Joanne, and and uh, um, oh, those three. Yeah. Uh, uh, please call in next week. <laughs> All right, Randall, stay on the line, please. Thank you. Okay, so let's go back. We are talking about, basically, I've identified at least 25 different things you need to be able to tell me when you are having dental, oral, or facial mm -hmm. pain to make my job easier to do a better job for you. And we've covered about seven of them. I have a list of 25, which is why I say this is probably going to be a two-part show, maybe even three. The next one would be, have you recently flown on an airplane? And why is that important? Because what happens is your sinus pressure, the pressure in your sinuses changes when you fly. I think we've all experienced at times when we were on a plane, uh, uh, one trip or another, it's like, we're usually refined, right? But every once in a while, there's that trip where your ears just clog and, and there's this pressure in your head and you get off the plane and you can't hear anything and you just wonder when you're ever going to be normal again. It's usually an hour or two later. And then your ears hurt, right? So uh, the upper teeth are right below the maxillary sinuses. The, the molars and bicuspids, I mean, the uh, cuspid through cuspid in the front, they're behind the, uh, below the nasal sinuses. If you have increased sinus pressure, it can physically put, it puts pressure on the tops of these teeth, the roots, you know, and it, it pushes them down ever so slightly, maybe just a micron or two. It doesn't take much, but when it does, what happens is now those teeth start hitting heavier. They hit heavier than they used to, and that makes them sore. It also makes them more sensitive to hot and cold and all kinds of things. So knowing if you have flown recently is very important. And in fact, I've actually had people call me looking to get an appointment um, as soon as they got home, and they're calling me from an airport. And they say, yeah, I'm, I'm down in Atlanta. I'll be home you know, in three hours, or I'll be home tomorrow morning. Can you get me in? And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you at the airport? And they'll say, yeah. And I said, okay, this is probably just sinus pressure. We're welcome. You can come in. We'll still see you, but I bet you it just is uh, going to go away as soon as your sinuses equalize, okay? So that is important for me to know. And another one, number eight. Have you had a recent filling or a crown in the area of your soreness? Because, believe it or not, that is probably the number one cause of tooth pain in someone who has been to the dentist recently because it's very, very tricky to get all of these fillings exactly perfect when it comes to the bite. You are numb right when we've placed your filling, and so you help us the best you can to tell us if the bite is good or not, but it's very hard for you to know, 
And uh, as it turns out, a lot of times people don't know. And so you think everything's fine. It looks fine to us. But sure enough, by the time um, a couple, three days go by, you're like, oh, you know, it felt okay at first, but now it's getting kind of sore. And now it's even sensitive to hot and cold. You tell me that. I know for a fact you're coming in for a bite adjustment. And by the way, if I'm the one that placed the filling, it's a no-charge visit. So that's pretty cool for you. Important to know, right? But if it's, uh, if it's a um, filling that was done elsewhere or maybe a few months ago, and we'd, you know, then there would be a small charge. Okay. So have you, we covered that one. All right. Now, number nine, have you had a recent filling or crown in the area that bites against the sore area? See, that's important too. Because some, it's not always the tooth with the new filling or crown that is the one that's hurting. Sometimes it's the one that bites against. All right, so let's say I did a lower left tooth, or your dentist did, and your, your upper left teeth are sore. Well, there you go. It's probably the same thing. All right, so, and, and I know when I say that, people go, well, no, I haven't had any work done there. It can't be that. Well, yes, it can. So make sure you tell us everything that you know when you are... Um, coming to the office or calling the office so that we can um, do the best possible job for you. It looks like it's time for another break, right? Yep, time for another break. <laughs> That's just the way it is, isn't it? All right, so uh, and if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile, episode number 458, and we will be right back. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Reigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile radio and roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> All right, we're back. I'm Dr. Kavitko. We are talking about, it's basically the 25 things you should be prepared to tell your dentist when you're having dental, oral, or facial pain, okay? And if you make notes when this pain is uh, happening, it'll be so much easier for your dentist to be able to help you. You'll be amazed, all right? Might even cost you less money because they'll know right away. Won't have to spend a bunch of time. Okay, so now, next one, 10. Have you been told that you grind or clench your teeth. Or, let's, let's expand on that, do you think you grind or clench your teeth? You know, a lot of people know, a lot of people don't know, and uh, when I tell them they're grinding their teeth, they look at me like saying, no, I don't. And, I, and I'm looking back at them saying, yes, you do, because I have proof, because I can see where you've worn this, uh, this pointy cusp down to a flat nub. And they'll go, oh, okay, because I take pictures and I'll put it up on the TV screen and I'll show people where they've sliced their tooth off. Well, Slicing your tooth off tells me two things. You're clenching, you're tightening those muscles. You are potentially causing TMJ issues, certainly pain on the side of your head over by the joints and on the, where it fans out on your temple, as well as it's not really good for teeth to be ground down slowly uh, without anesthetic. <laughs> you know? So you're, you are grinding off enamel, you're grinding off dentin, and if I were doing that without being, you numbing, numbing you, you wouldn't like that, would you? So uh, you're doing that to yourself. And so uh, knowing that you grind, sometimes that is all that is going on. You just need a bruxism appliance. You just need something to keep you from grinding. You don't need a filling. You don't need a root canal. You don't need any of those other things. So that's important to know. Okay, the next one. When you get pain, does it last for seconds or does it last for minutes? All right, now that one is uh, very important because if you have pain that goes away in a few seconds, you probably don't need a root canal. 
that's a, that's cool. I mean, nobody wants a root canal. Those people that have had them know that they're no big deal. They're not scary. They don't hurt. Uh, at least at my office is what I, I, I know for a fact and what people have told me. But still, people seem to dread them. And so if your pain is uh, sharp but short, just a few seconds here, a few seconds there, you most likely do not need a root canal. In fact, I'd be very surprised if you did. But what it's telling us is there's something something going on. Uh, it's fresh. It's new. It's something that if we can catch early, we can fix you right up without a root canal. Okay? Now, and then another question that I always ask people or want them to be able to tell me, and this happens a lot of times on the phone. You know, I carry a pager. I call people back when they call the office after hours. And so I have this, I don't have it written down. I do now for the show, but I, it's all in my head. Like what's going to help me understand what's going on? And it's a little harder when they're at home and, on, and we're just on the phone, but it still paints this picture. So I always want to know, has the sore tooth had a root canal? Has it already had root canal therapy? By the way, the more correct way of saying that is root canal therapy. It's not a root canal. I was corrected, believe it or not, by an English teacher in college and undergrad. I, I, was, uh, I wanted to be a dentist, and I was uh, taking some pre, pre-dental courses, and we were supposed to do a little, uh, little, uh, like a little essay, and I wrote a root canal. She corrected me, and I thought, how does she? No, she can't correct me. I'm going to be a dentist, but she was right. So anyway, <laughs> uh, and why is that important? Uh, first of all, if it's already had a root canal, first you would, your first thought would be, can't be an abscessed tooth. It's already had a root canal. However, that's not always the case because sometimes root canals go south. Sometimes the seal wasn't exactly what we wanted. Or sometimes the seal was perfect, but no one knew, but there was a vertical fracture in that tooth. And so now your body's reacting to what it thinks is a broken tooth. And so you're getting a new abscess. No fault of the root canal or whoever did it. And then the other thing is, is root canal teeth get dry and brittle. They can snap off. And so, uh, and if somebody is telling me I have pain in my lower left back two molars and one of them's had a root canal, I'm over the phone at least, I'm first going to assume it's the one behind it, right? I'm going to assume it's the one without the root canal. I might be wrong when I see you or see your x-ray, but it is something to, uh, to be aware of. And by the way, when we see people and they come in and they, it's funny because they'll have like three or four rotten teeth, all decayed, uh, on, let's say we're going to pick lower right now, uh, equal time. And they'll point to the one with the biggest, you know, gaping hole. And they'll say, yeah, it's that one. And I'm looking at their x-ray and I'm going, you know, it's not that one. That one's been like that for a while. That one's been rotten for a while. It's not hurting you anymore. It's the one behind it where the decay is just now getting to the nerve. Just now going to be the painful tooth. Uh, And if you did nothing and you could stand all the pain, eventually it'd get so rotten that it wouldn't hurt you anymore until you got an abscess like the other one. Okay. So let's see, I'm looking at the clock trying to figure out, make sure I don't get in trouble because my mean producer would yell at me if I ran long, right? (laughs) No, no, I have the nice producer today. (laughs) Let's hope the other producer doesn't listen to this show. But anyway, so, and then um, the other thing is that I want to to know is do you still have your wisdom teeth? Any of them. doesn't matter if you've had one extracted. Do you have any of them left? Because, believe it or not, a lot of swelling and pain can come from a a slightly impacted wisdom tooth. In fact, it's worse if it's only slightly impacted, meaning if it came in just a little bit, a little peeking in around, a little bit around the gum. And it doesn't always mean that a wisdom tooth has to be extracted, by the way. It sometimes means just the tissue over top of it has to be removed. So if it's partly erupted, well, now you have this pathway for food and bacteria to get up in behind there, and you have this gum that's half covering it. We call that the operculum, the little bit of gum that's still growing in from behind. And if the tooth hasn't come up high enough, and maybe it's somewhat blocked and can't come up high enough, that operculum is going to get swollen. It's going to get red. And when it swells, every time you close your mouth, which is even when you sleep, you close your mouth uh, several times during the night, your top tooth is going to bite on the operculum and it's going to hurt. And it's going to wake you up and it's going to be painful and it's just going to get worse and worse because you keep biting it, right? So in people where the tooth is almost in, it just didn't quite have enough room to come in on its own, but we think, well, we don't need to extract these. I will numb them and I'll take my laser and I'll laze the tissue that's uh, getting getting bitten and now I'm getting the signal. And... uh, (laughs) And uh, take that off, and then, hey, voila, you get to keep your wisdom tooth. Okay, as I mentioned, this turned out to be just part one of at least a two-part show. I am pretty much out of time. I'm getting the look-at-my-watch routine thing over there. But that's okay. That's her job. And so, (laughs) 
Okay, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Dr. Kavitko and visit my office Facebook page and like us. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Remember that all past episodes of this show are available at thereasonswesmile.com. And um, for those of you, if you're traveling and you can't be near your radio and you want to listen to the show live, you can go to the TuneIn Radio app, right? And download the station, and you'll be able to listen live. Uh, you can also, uh, I guess, just uh, go to your computer, right? Go to your computer and do that. It doesn't have to be on your little smartphone thing. All right. Anyway, be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or send an email to speaking at TheReasonsWeSmile.com.